Okay, I'm starting. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to our movie class. We are starting season two. <laughs> It's a kind of experimental episode today. Everything goes wrong. We use a new software. Now we uh, use Zoom for our classes. So we lost teacher, our teacher somewhere. So, but we will find him on next hangout, I believe. So what else? What's new? We have a new participant, Rostislav. Hello, welcome to our team. Can Hi. you please introduce yourself in a few words? Uh, yes, uh, my name is Rostislav. You can call me Rostik. Uh, I believe it's easier for you. And uh, I'm 22 and live in Russia, in Kazan. Yeah, and Rostik forget to mention that we were colleagues in the past. We had, yeah. a, we had a project. We worked on one project. Mm -hmm. Right? Jorgen, would you like to introduce yourself in two words for Rostislav, for Rostik? Yeah, I'm Jorgen, yeah, from Sweden. I'm 51 years old. Yeah, and yeah. passionate learners of yeah. English. Yeah. <laughs> Learner of English. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. I know, we, we spent a lot of hangouts together, right, about different topics, TED Talks yeah. and movies and so on. Yes. What's up, are you here? Because we don't see you, it sounds. One, two, three, four. Wow, what a day. <laughs> a friend of mine has just moved to Sweden. Uh, Ivan, maybe you remember Roma. Uh, yeah. who, you, who, yes, he's, uh, he's living in uh, Stockholm now. Okay. Well, I, I don't know, where is it? Oh, I believe you know the capital of Sweden. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it was a joke, yeah. <laughs> okay, so English humor. <laughs> Do you visit Stockholm often? Uh, uh, not every second year, every third, fourth, fourth year or so. Okay, okay. So Seven, once... eight times. So Once in four years, like this. Yeah, in in uh, in average. In average, okay, okay. Yeah. But why, why, why so rare? <laughs> uh, it's a long way to ah, travel. I see. I see. Uh, oh, uh, six hours by car. What about six, plane? What about what about planes? Yeah, it's faster, <laughs> but. <laughs> I uh, see that. transport to the airport. Mm. I see, I see. So it's a long story. Vasans, uh, Vasans, are you here? I still have a chance. I, I still have a hope, you know, to see you. No. Well, I'm confused now what to do. He, he try maybe again. No. Or, yeah. Hassan, hello, hello again. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know why uh, I am being kicked out of the uh, car. It's reconnecting frequency, so I don't know what's happening. Okay, but we, you know, we still, we still warming up. So Rustic and Jorgen just introduced themselves, you know, <laughs> for recording because we have a oh, new yeah. member. So if you like, please introduce yourself in a few words. Yeah, sure. Uh, my name is Vasan and I'm from India. Um, I'm 29 years old. Um, I have been with Ivan uh, uh, in this learning path for the past three years, I think, almost three years. Wow, three years. Yeah, Already. it's all going well. <laughs> Time flies, right? Yeah. <laughs> time, time flies. Okay. Okay, so let's start yeah. to speak about our movie. Today we have, we have a movie, The Green Book. And what is about? Yeah, what is the synopsis? Who is the main characters? So, Jorgen, would you like to start? <clears throat> yeah. Please. Uh, so it's about uh, uh, Tony Lip uh, Dorman and the uh, peacekeeper and at the nightclub in New York City uh, in 1962. Uh, and uh, he, uh, 
get a job as a sh chauffeur. Sh chauffeur. Like a, like a driver, right? Driver, yeah. yeah. And uh, he drives a uh, black man that uh, playing uh, piano. Yeah, a musician. Musician, yeah. Okay. So do do you do you remember the do you remember his name? Uh, Don. Don. Okay. I I already forgot. <laughs> I watched it like three weeks ago or more. <laughs> so we have uh, one Italian guy and one like um, black guy who is a musician. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. And they have a what, what's the word for this? They are driving through the southern southern states in America to make concerts here. It's in short. Okay, let's discuss more about the story. Vasans, would you would you like to participate? Mm, yes. Um, this movie is mostly about uh, the relationship between the main two characters, Tony and the doctor, uh, and it happens in during the nineteen sixty. Sounds hello, hello. <laughs> Two of us sounds. <laughs> Two sounds and both silent. Okay, hello, hello. Wow, finally. Yeah. yeah. I'm Please. using my, my <laughs> phone and laptop. So, uh, laptop. Okay. Yeah, okay. We'll be all learning how to use Zoom. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. Um, and in the late, late uh, uh, in the 1960s, there were uh, some conflicts between the two races, the white and black, and the black were not supposed to be in some places. So this movie is based on how uh, the doctor was treated at that time. So it's, uh, it's based on true events. Mm -hmm. So it's a, like a true story. It's based on true story. And we see like the difference between North of America and South of America. So we don't have an expert from America today, uh, sadly, but <laughs> he don't want to discuss this topic. And I understand why, because, why? because it's a pretty hot topic still in America, it seems. <laughs> so, and we can see the difference in, in, in what? In, in behavior of people of the North and South. Vasislav, what can, can you tell us the story? You know, start with the story. What, what, what? Uh, yeah. Yes, the story starts with that uh, with uh, the funny episode when uh, uh, two men come to uh, come to Tony and uh, they are black and uh, they eat uh, or they eat from a plate. Uh, drink, drink, yeah, drink uh, water. Yes, yes. Uh, they drink uh, some water, and uh, uh, then he sees uh, uh, their glass, and he just removes it. Uh, he puts it into the trash box, and uh, 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 the meaning of the episode is uh, to show that uh, that man Tony was uh, uh, ultra race, uh, a racist. I'm yes. Uh, he, he was just racist, and um, uh, uh, then uh, then he loses uh, his job, uh, and uh, he receives uh, he receives an offer. Uh, yeah, but, but actually, let, let, let's say all this a bit. Actually, everyone loses his their mm. jobs because of him, right? Because yes. he made a what? He made a stupid uh, thing. He stole something. Yeah. He asked yes, the girl um, to sell, not to sell, to give him a hat without, like, without reason. I don't see a reason for that. And the whole cafe or what it was, what it was, was closed because of it. Everyone lost jobs. Uh, I believe he wanted to uh, 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 show himself to the man, to, to the head owner. To make uh, uh, like a good yeah. relationship. Yeah, I sold yes. your hat for you. Uh, but, but it didn't really work out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it did not work at all. So he he lost he lost his job. What next? What's next? Jorgen, uh, would you like to continue? Hmm? Jorgen, would you like yeah. to continue? Yeah. So we okay. 
stop it at the moment when he lost his job. So he needs to find a way to how to earn money. Yeah. Um, what he tried. <clears throat> Okay, wait just a second. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, do I, Tony. Uh, ah, okay. I can't uh, yeah. find the. Okay, let's let's ask Vasan. Vasan, Vasan, please, could you continue? Yes. Uh, after that, uh, his friend suggested him to attend an interview. I think, and he went for when he went there, and um, he was interviewed by the doctor. He initially, he expected uh, some doctor in uh, medicine field, but. Uh, he looked like almost uh, an Egypt uh, emperor uh, with, uh, uh, how to say that, uh, different uh, outlook and costume. Uh, yeah, like a king, king of some African Yes, like a king. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he was surprised and uh, he didn't want to uh, work with uh, him, uh, not just based on his color, but the job's uh, description, because the job requires him to uh, to work for him, uh, like, to be, a, to be like, assistant, to be right? like a, like yeah. a wallet, right? Like a wallet to, to make yeah. small favors to him. Yeah. 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 So he didn't like that. And uh, so he refused, I think initially he refused. But later he accepted more because he needed that money. So, so we think it's, it's, it's all, all about money, right? Yes. Trust you, will agree? It's all about money? Uh, uh, well, it wasn't all about money. It was more about uh, uh, the fact that he was supposed to uh, be a servant for a black man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, but I mean, why, why he agreed finally? Uh, because uh, that man, uh, he called his wife and he didn't find any other job uh, first. <laughs> and uh, then uh, uh, that man called his wife and asked her if uh, uh, if she agree uh, that he, that he uh, mm, I don't know, uh, he will... Uh, make your husband uh, be absent from home for two months i believe yeah, yeah. to to take to take your husband from from home yeah to grab him yeah yes and see if it was okay for her or not uh, and uh, uh, she uh, she agreed and so uh, well but i believe i'm missing something because uh, uh, it feels like there is a gap, a gap uh, of his uh, d decision. I don't know. Uh, don't really uh, remember. Well, I, I think it's it's all together. You know, he as, as you as you mentioned, he did not find another job, and he was I don't know impressed maybe by the way you know how doctor uh, made this. You know, with all, with all these calls, with speaking with his wife, it's strange. I think for 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 him for Tony. Right, so I, I think that that was the reason. So he decided to just try, you know, and money is important as well. So he decided to try. So how it started, successful or not, more or less? <laughs> you know, and I forgot to say, uh, I forgot to say that you know we have some kind of tricks in our hangouts. If you want to say something, you can write just T uh, in our chat. It's me and talk or something. You know, if you if you want to <laughs> at, uh, how to say, to grab some attention you know if if you if you don't see that so whenever you want just write and we, we will we will listen to you so they started the traveling i don't know how how we call this voyage when you do some small concerts i have to look in dictionary later tour. Uh, how tour tour yeah yeah concert tour right so they started it and what they learned at the very beginning so what is the green book 
Jorgen, what is the green book? Why it's called so? Yeah, it's uh, safe places to stay for black people. Mm. Do you and, think it's... Uh, and a tourist guide. Yeah, do you think it's a just safe place? I think it's like a regulated something. So we, I think it's like kind of a law or something. What do you think? Possible. Possible. Vasans, have you catch code this moment? Mm, yes, uh, what I believe was uh, this book is personally designed for the people of color to uh, inform so, them where to stay and where to. Uh, so it's like a guide book, right? Not, yes, like, guide a, book, not yeah. like a regulation or something. Mm, no. Because at the beginning, I was thinking that it's just, you know, that's just an official document. You know, you can stay this and that and that, but nowhere else. <laughs> Okay, so let's 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 think that it was uh, like a just a guidebook and with uh, safe places. Okay, so they mm -hmm. started, and <laughs> who can describe how how the tour how the tour went at the beginning? What, okay, kind, what kind of please, Jorgen, What kind of relationship they, they have? Yeah, Tony is uh, talk very much and. Uh, gets on Don's nerves. <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> and uh, Tony also gambles and uh, that makes gambles, uh, Don makes uh, Don upset mm -hmm. uh, for being so low class. <laughs> That's my love. Yeah, tell us about chicken, you know. Uh, he, he, he wouldn't uh, have any chicken. Uh, he, he didn't want to have any chicken. Uh, but uh, finally, he tried it. And, uh, yeah, I, I, th I think it's, it's kind of a joke because, you know, there is a stereotype that black people eat chicken a lot. You know, every, everywhere they order only chicken. But this dog, he was like opposite to this dog. <laughs> Not a, but he, it's a, it's right. We we have seen this reference in the movie when he said, you know, I know nothing about black music at all because I am not belong to this culture. I belong to, to another culture. So he kind of not a stereotypical one, right? And the whole movie, I think, based on this fact. Okay, so what happened after? Rosti, mm. please tell us about the story. What happened? Uh, well, uh, when they finally arrived to uh, uh, to the first place, uh, uh, the uh, uh, Tony was just shocked because uh, the um, the place where they stayed uh, it wasn't good at all. It was a pretty dirty one. Uh, there were strange people uh, all everywhere, and uh, he just didn't like it at all. Mm -hmm. uh, what's more, uh, mm, the uh, thing that made him uh, most impressed was that uh, 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 Doc, he asked him if he wanted to participate uh, to p participate in meeting uh, with uh, some great people, uh, with some people who was who were supposed to be great, and uh, Tony told him that. Uh, uh, he doesn't want to change his uh, uh, speaking st his style of speaking and uh, anything in uh, his life. And as a result, he was uh, uh, staying outside, uh, li uh, listening from the garden, uh, and uh, then he played uh, some some games with. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with other drivers. Yes, and uh, he even won something, and but. Uh, uh, unfortunately, he missed uh, the moment when uh, the um, when the concert ended, and uh, uh, when Doc uh, and Doc had to wait him, and uh, he told him that uh, that is not acceptable. You uh, must not play games. You must be my uh, servant, in fact, and so that's uh, your job for now. And uh, please uh, do it well. Uh, or don't do it at all. Yeah. So I, I would say that at the beginning, they they totally different people. They mm -hmm. have different expectations, even from the simple jobs, from the simple things. So uh, what Tony expects, what uh, Doc expects, it's totally different. So they have to take some time to, what, what's the word for this, to, to get used to, to each other. Mm -hmm. 
Yep. Mm -hmm. So what was the driver? I mean, driver of their like friendship or something. Why is they finally <laughs> ends with friendship? What do you think? Uh, could you please uh, start again? Yeah, what what make them friends? You know, what what was the driver to to make them close to each other? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, it's the relationship between them is almost like two extremes uh, comes together. So so there are the, their characters are totally different. Uh, Tony prefers unsanitized activity. He he doesn't prefer hygienic. Uh, when it comes to food, he eats with bare hands without eating and everything. But uh, the doctor prefers everything. He, he is a perfectionist. Uh, so, uh, but as time goes by and the people they encounter uh, throughout the journey uh, made them closer. Um, uh, because uh, every time the doctor uh, gets uh, involved with uh, any conflict or a fist fight, uh, Tony saves him. Um, and yeah, and that's how the, the relationship uh, gets closer. Uh, yeah, and, of, co of course, it was about talking, right? About uh, knowing each other more and more, about understanding small details, about understanding how different and how uh, like similar they are together at the same time, right? So I remember the moment when uh, Tony said, you know, you think about me like a part of these white guys, but I'm not a white guy like them. I just an Italian guy and I don't want to <laughs> to have anything in common with those, I don't know, snobs, you know, if you, if you know this, this word, like uh, posh people, something like this. So, and it's interesting because, you know, in USA, uh, there were like many waves of immigration. And the first one was Italians. So they were like, you know, like black people for, <laughs> for the first immigration. They used to be just simple workers, low class, and so on. So yeah, we can we can see it clearly. So uh, the whole movie was about uh, dialogues. So it was a lot of talking. So let's not to, you know, to retell everything. <laughs> just what is your favorite moments of the movie? Share, share one, please. What, what do you like in the movie? moment or scene or I don't know subplot something. Rostik, can you? Mm, yes, I'm not muted. Uh, well, my favorite moment is when uh, when uh, Tony and uh, Doc uh, they're writing a letter to uh, to the Tony's wife and uh, not the first time, but the last time when uh, when Tony uh, finally understood the way of thinking uh, uh, dogs and uh, and uh, he learned in some style. He learned in some yes, style. Yes, he uh, learned his his lifestyle and he uh, I believe it was a switch uh, for for him uh, somewhere in the brain in the way he he thought. Uh, because it's pretty hard for uh, for him to for 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 everyone to uh, move from just uh, retelling a story to uh, to yeah. another level, uh, a higher level of <laughs> construction. When you storytelling, right? Yes, yes. When you uh, compare different things and uh, when you uh, are telling about your feeling and not uh, just about the things that you uh, see around you, yeah, and uh, and uh, about what you eat. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> so you use some metaphors, explain your yeah. feelings, not just you know. I saw this guy. I eat that. <laughs> I think, yeah, I, I like the movie about. I like the subplot about the letters as well, and I like the humor. You know uh, how uh, his family, you know Tony's family, uh, accepted this uh, letter. They said, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." In our family, everyone should write like this because we have, you know, good gains, genes. <laughs> yes, and finally, when uh, your when his wife. Uh, uh, Said thank you to <laughs> to Doc for <laughs> writing the letters. <laughs> yes. Okay, Jorgen, do you have some you know some special moments about the movie? What you like? Uh, not that I can can think of right now, but 
there were some moments I enjoyed. Yeah. Yeah, it's a it's a good movie in general. Yeah, it's yeah. I, I can say there are like many many good moments, not like one. yeah, many small nice moments. Yeah, 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 and I enjoyed the most of dialogues. You know, they are very like smart. I would say not just a lot of like um, you know there are there are different types of humor. Some humor is like uh, I would say it's it's a. Uh, Uh, very refined, very like small one, not like a gag, like ha 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 ha. No, it's a small joke that you understand, you know, small, and, and I like it that in, in these dialogues. Vasans, what is your, what was your moments? What do you like? Yeah, uh, my part was the gun part. Um, the doctor was trashed by the goons, the thugs, and even he was, uh, uh, how to say that, uh, sub, uh, unconscious. I would say that partially unconscious, he couldn't uh, stand steadily, but he asked, do you really have a gun? Then he said, no, of course not. <laughs> And then later he found out, I knew you had a gun. I, I like that part really. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was interesting, yeah. Well, okay, so uh, just to finish with the story, we have, we had happy end, right? <laughs> Jorgen, please. Yeah. Yeah. Um... I remember now uh, when uh, Don was assaulted uh, at the bar mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and uh, uh, Tony come and, uh, and uh, save him, saved him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, he uh, pretended he... that he had a gun, <laughs> which, which he had, he had but... <laughs> <laughs> so he pretends that he pretends, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right, exactly. <laughs> yeah, nice one. So tell us about happy end, Jorgen. How it's finished. The happy end was that uh, they could manage <clears throat> to get uh, to New York in time, and uh, despite the snowy weather, and uh, uh, they invited uh, Don, and uh, he finally appeared and uh, yeah. yeah so and i think for his family for tony's family it was a big change in tony's character like you know immediate change because family did not see him of course the whole time and he like came to the tour like a total racist and came back with a black friend something you know <laughs> something, <laughs> something unusual i would say yeah. <laughs> yeah but they lost all the money right did they They, they lost money because of they did not provide yeah, the last concert. They should have. Do you remember this, this plot, Rostik? Yeah. Do you remember? Why they did not get the money? Uh, they didn't uh, perform the last uh, pl- yeah, yeah, uh, why? event. Yeah. But why? Uh, because uh, Don uh, was refused to eat dinner in the dining room. Yeah, the, the organizers, they refused to give them like place in a, in a, in a common place, right? They say, go and eat in your closet. Uh, your mic, maybe. You, you hear, yeah? Your mic is okay, no? Oh. Better, one, two, three, four, five. I think it's my internet problem, no? Okay. <laughs> Do you hear me now? <laughs> Okay. Maybe it's only me. No, no, no. I think it's... No, oh, it's better. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm. Okay. Sorry for that. <laughs> I mean, new location, actually. I just changed the uh, flat and the internet, it's uh, not perfect here. I will fix it later. Okay, Rostik, do, so what, what, what do you think? Why they, you know, why they refused to perform? Because it's an, the, the, not the first, like, case uh, with humiliation, but why it was the last so important? uh because uh well uh i don't really remember why the place was so special but uh, i remember that uh, there was a club and uh, that club was uh, uh and uh, they uh, were supposed to perform uh, in the restaurant for the club members i believe and uh, there was a rule that only club members can uh eat uh, in the restaurant in the in the main hall 
the main area and uh, other people were supposed to eat uh, in other places. And uh, uh, that man, he even said that uh, uh, last year, uh, I believe something like uh, Sheikh Kabul, so another team of Bo- or Boston Celtics, I don't remember the team, the basketball team name, but uh, they also uh, visited that place and uh, even they were not allowed uh, to eat uh, with white people. And yeah. so for Tony, it was uh, strange because uh, because uh, those people, uh, they, uh, they, uh, uh, they love the music uh, from, uh, from Dog, but uh, they didn't really uh, uh, consider him to be uh, a man uh, who is uh, a human, a human the, uh, uh, same level creature. In fact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, dehumanizing, uh, I would say. Yes, and uh, that's why uh, they re- and uh, Dog, I believe he even uh, asked uh, Tony uh, if uh, that. Uh, in case Tony really wants, uh, the dog could eat uh, in another place and uh, play the music. But uh, Tony uh, supported him and uh, they uh, left the place and went uh, somewhere else. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, that I think is, this... That's another story for, I, for I, I believe, someone else. <laughs> <laughs> what sounds? Do you have a comment? Please. Yes. Uh... I, I realized one point um, throughout the movie, throughout their journey, they had bad experiences uh, during their uh, performances, the stage performances. Mm, the hospitalization, hospitalization was not uh, pleasant. But why did they decide not to perform the final one? Uh, then I realized that because uh, they had to react because they were so polite. The doctor was so polite um, in the past, but nothing has changed. The people remained the same. They mistreated him and they didn't uh, respect him very well. Then Tony decided not to perform the final one because at least you have to show you are, uh, how to say it, um, denying something. Uh, so uh, the refusal to retaliate or something, to mm-hmm. fight back, uh, let them know that you are uh, you are hurt. So, so I think that is kind of a response or reaction from doctor side. Uh, yeah, there is there is a saying in in English: the last uh, throw uh, that broke camel's uh, back, right? So it was more and more and more accumulation and the last straw that just broke the camel, you know? <laughs> so I think so, because there, was, there were actually a lot of accumulation, yeah? not, not this one. Okay, uh, as you probably know, uh, for almost every class, we have a Padlet. What is a Padlet? Padlet is kind of a whiteboard where we can put our questions. So Rostik, it's mostly for you. <laughs> when you watch the movie, you can put, you know, whenever you want on this Padlet and we will discuss it later okay so we have a few, a few questions here let me uh, ask you something so the doctor said let me copy uh, the doctor said that he did not listen to other musicians album isn't that weird why how it's possible for a musician not to listen to you know to different genres to another music <laughs> Jorgen, what do you think uh, uh, it's difficult to answer that. <laughs> Rostik, maybe you have a, an idea? Mm, yes, because he... Uh, uh, I don't think that he uh, shared the point of view that uh, that was uh, low-class music, but... Uh, uh, he was uh, surrounded by people who uh, who uh, thought that uh, that music was uh, it wasn't um, too good, right? Uh, I, I, 
I'd better say that it's not, uh, it wasn't music for them, it was just uh, uh, sounds. Uh, they didn't uh, uh, thought about it uh, as about the music. Well, probably you're right uh, because you know, doctor has her dog has like a classical education. All those things are very posh people, men, right? But um, I think it's kind of a way to segregate. You know, we segregate each, we, we position each other like in many ways you know i don't hear to this music it's low class i hear only this i like only this so actually actually i think that dog was kind of a <laughs> not a racist but kind of you know he divided people by classes but himself and that's why you have another question <laughs> why does the doctor lives in a castle and dress like sort of a king is it the reason why his own people avoided him <laughs> what do you think Jorgen, why he li- why he dressed like a king, doctor? I missed that too. <laughs> <laughs> At the beginning, you know, when when Tony went to his house, he yeah. had like a special chair, you know, to meet him, special room, and a lot of you know posh furniture and all these things. Yeah, I remember that, but yeah. I don't remember the reason. I say <laughs> reason. Yeah, yeah. We but there is like no reason in the movie. We just, okay. yeah. Uh-huh. Well, what do you think? Why? Uh, I don't know why, because he mentioned uh, at some point that white people hate his skin and also, and um, he cannot go back to his home, his own people, because they are also uh, uh, not accepting him. So I think this, this kind of weird behavior might be the reason for them to uh, keep him away from the circle. Yeah. But it, it looked strange, really. <laughs> I, I would say <laughs> this, 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 this way. Okay, another question. Uh, have you ever written a letter? Have you ever written a letter to your loved one? Was that romantic? <laughs> Jorgen, teach us. Do you, do you like uh-huh. letters? No, I'm not a big fan of writing letters, no. Uh, I remember maybe when I was uh, eight, ten years old. <laughs> I wrote, uh, we write uh, maybe a few times. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I see, I see. But wouldn't you like to write, you know, this romantic letter that you know make a woman that can make a woman to love you immediately, you know, just by text. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not uh, a good writer <laughs> at all. <laughs> Rostik, what about you? Have you had this experience with letters? Uh, uh, well, I had the same experience as uh, Jürgen had <laughs> uh, when I uh, was in uh, 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 when I was, I believe, ten or eleven years old. I uh, uh, I was writing uh, not letters, but uh, some. Uh, messages right? <laughs> yes i was i was chatting on paper <laughs> uh, and and then i refused that so it was written by me no no uh, that's not me uh, yeah. someone yeah. else and yes yeah i understand when i was young i, I used to write yeah, a lot of letters and i hope they all oh, they got lost or something bad happened to him because i don't want to see them <laughs> anytime again yeah <laughs> wasans what about you have you wrote uh, oh and you know wasans work on post office right so you can see a lot of romantic people with the letters do they come often no uh we can't see uh, personal letters anymore um, all of them are official uh, communications. But uh, as far as I remember, only once I wrote a letter to my relative, and uh, I, I was five years, less than five years, I think, under five years, and my dad uh, reciting the content, and I was uh, writing it down on, on a letter. So it was the memorable one. Yeah, I miss those only because you have to wait um, to, to get the letter 
and you have to replay it. Uh, so it, it's at least 15 days between every letter, the communication. So the waiting makes it more uh, memorable. Yeah. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Yeah, but it's a nice skill, you know, to express yourself very like concise and, you know, in a way that people will love you, I would say. <laughs> so I always wanted to have this ability to write something, you know, in a perfect way, but it doesn't seem feasible, you know, <laughs> to, to me. Practice. Okay. A lot of practice. <laughs> yeah, a lot of practice, but not oh. only practice. I think you no. have to... You have to learn this like a science, you know, there are many books like how to write a good letter, 10 ways to improve your writing and all those things. And I found that it's a very different skill when you change your language, because, you know, in English, it's all about verbs, for instance, what I learned. But in Russian, we use different style. We use a lot of adjectives, a lot of adverbs. So it's different, I would say. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. Okay, for our listeners, if we have one for new teams, for, for new participants like Rostislav, now at the end, we usually have some slides. You know, we have some slides from the movie and we try to discuss them or find some details to describe them and so on. So I'm going to share my screen. It's kind of a new experience for me. So I have to find a button to share. Okay, I found one. Share desktop. Let's see if you can see it. Can okay. you see slides? Okay. Green book. So let's start from the first one. Jorgen, would you like to start, please? Uh, okay. Um, yeah, here is the nightclub. Yeah. And his uh, woman. And I think he punched him quite hard. <laughs> <laughs> He's showing his character, right? He doesn't care who you are. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Strong and tough guy. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know actually how we call these ropes, you know, this rope that uh, like a fence. Yeah, probably we, we have to. We have it. mentioned it in the chat, but I can't remember it now also. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we should make like exercise, like a homework, you know, to write these labels <laughs> yeah. beforehand or maybe after class because it's interesting. And how we call these dresses, you know, these red suits, I don't know either. Do you remember? Tux, tuxedo? No? Uh, I'm not sure if I know it in Russian. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's tux, tux, which is a shortcut from tuxedo in English, but I'm not sure, you know. This Today, we, it's an experimental class without a teacher, so let's just guess. <laughs> okay, anything else would you like to mention? Do you often go to the clubs like this? Do you have a face control at the, at the entrance? <laughs> yeah, uh, ID control, yes. <laughs> ID? It's not ID, it's a face control. They look at you, look at you closest, look how drunk you are. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And they, they decide to let you in or not. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> I, I don't think that they control your ID. <laughs> okay, let's That's... go to the next one. Uh, Vasans, please describe this one. Yeah, um, these two people are colors uh, were working in Tony's house. Uh, I think some kind of interior work, uh, plumbing, I think. Uh, after they finished their work, um, Tony's wife offered them juice, uh, or water, I think. I'm not sure. Um, in the classes, and Tony saw that, and later he threw the glasses in the dust bin uh, trash can mm. and we can see the cupboards on the wall uh, the lamp um, i don't know the silver well i I, silver. I like this chair with that with leather that we can see in the window you know through the window mm -hmm. strange architecture i would say <laughs> yeah who would uh, Chair, yeah, chair or leather, you know, we can see. Yeah, leather, leather, leather. yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> very strange one, yeah. 
Yeah. But the house is house looks pretty neat, I would say, pretty pretty cute. Uh, they pretend that they are poor people, but the house, you know, it's perfect. <laughs> Better than mine, I would say. <laughs> okay, next one. Grostik, what is going on on this picture? Uh, uh, That was one of my favorite parts when uh, Tony was competing for, uh, he uh, was participating in uh, hot dog uh, competition, competition, yeah, with uh, a man uh, on the the right, and uh, he said that uh, he can eat 27, I believe, hot dogs or something else in uh, uh, several minutes. Mm. And uh, they uh, they were competing for $50, I believe, for something. Yeah. yeah. Something like that. And uh, it was big money for Tony. Uh, and, uh, and I believe I should... Uh, uh, tell about the uh, thing that uh, things yeah. that are on the slides, and but I I don't know what uh, what is interesting here the mustard ketchup. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, but but you know there are, there are many small details. You you can see guy has a special clothes like a towel on his neck, right? Guy on the right, this white mm-hmm. thing. Yeah, how it's called in English? Oh. <laughs> I forgot. I <laughs> well, well. Uh... I, I, I just, I just making an example. You know what we, what mm-hmm. we usually discuss. So we yes, find yes. You know, small details and all the things, but we can discuss anything. You know. <laughs> yeah. So it was a nice moment. Yes, I love, love it. Guys, have you ever participated in this kind of uh, competition? <laughs> no. No. no? I think it's not very healthy competition. I would say I, I would be afraid to eat 26 something hot dogs. I would think I, I can die in the process. <laughs> what's, but, a, what's in the glass? Yeah, good question. I think it's orange juice or something. It looks so to me. Not a wine, I would say. Not soda. A, yeah, soda probably or juice or something like this. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I never participated in a competition by eating something. But when I was a student, a young and stupid one, uh, I used in a lot of competition with drinking. <laughs> kind of. Oh, my favorite one, Jorgen, please. <laughs> yeah, he can say see the his uh, apartment. Yeah, uh, his, his chair. Yeah, like king chair. Yeah. <laughs> And a uh, lot of old furnish. Furnish. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know what uh, curtain. Curtains, uh, right? Curtains uh, are called, but uh, uh, the piano is called uh, something special, I guess. Um, not just... I, I I don't remember. Do you guys remember how we call this type of piano when it's you know a big one? Just piano. Uh-huh. Uh, no, okay. we have a word in Russian, but I don't remember one in English. Yeah. How we call this thing for candles? You know, do you see candles around the piano? Mm-hmm. It's, not, it's not a chandelier. I, I learned, but it's something different. Holder for candles. We forgot. We definitely need some teacher, and I can see a beautiful vase on at the beginning, at the right side. Do you see it? It looks like Chinese, very posh type of ways. Uh, <laughs> Jorgen, do you have any ways in your home? Yes, a few, yeah. Yeah, same style? No. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> <laughs> okay, what else? And Tony, is, Tony looks good. He has a suit, right? Very special. And I don't know how to call this suit of, you know, of dog. It's something weird. And his shoes, wow, something strange. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go to the next one. Basan, do you remember this moment? Because I'm not. Yes, yes. Um, this is in the old man and the lady's shop. He was borrowing. 
Ah, okay. Trying okay. something like right? right? he, 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 the old... he put his watch to this guy, right? Yes, yes, to uh, get money. And, and the old man asked something, some like kind of anything wrong, and then he rudely replied, uh, "Does it uh, matter to you?" Something like that. So uh, this this scene shows that he's kind of rude to the elderly people as well as. Uh, Yeah, I, I forgot how, how, how we call this type of, you know, this type of loans when you give your things and then buy it back. I forgot the word for this. Pledge. Pledge. Pledge? Okay. Thanks. I, I forgot. We can see a lot of, you know, details here. A lot of flatware, something strange, some gold things, fans. Well, I don't know what else. So we can learn from this moment that uh, Tony, he needed money, like, Hard. Yeah. Um, okay, let's. Oh, yeah, R Rostik, what is happening? On? What, 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 what are their these rocks? Uh, these rocks. Uh, uh, I don't really remember what uh, this. Uh, why these rocks are so special? But uh, that's a souvenir shop uh, somewhere on the road, and uh, Antonis has has just noticed the stone. Uh, that fell from uh, from the box, and uh, you saw that <laughs> since this uh, stone is not in the box, uh, that's uh, just a stone or on the ground, and he can take it or any other stone, and uh, it won't be uh, the uh, stealing. Well, yeah, yeah. Yes, and it, it won't be the stealing, and uh, there are a lot of. Rock, rocks here, rocks and boxes, box, boxes, tables, and I don't know. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not too much to, to describe here, yeah. But it was a nice moment, I, I believe. Yeah. Do you remember at the, at the end, uh, at the end, they, they, were, they were another moment about rocks, you know? He actually stole some. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Still, yeah. What can we call the boxes or tray or they are all... yeah, tray is a good word yeah tray yeah mm. when, when you sell something it's a, it's a good word yeah mm. okay uh, Jorgen please it's for you oh what I can't remember what this is about it's, they are writing the letter I, I believe ah, okay yeah and after a while he asked him If he wants help, I think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like it how at the beginning, at the beginning, uh, Tony wrote everything. I eat that. I eat those. It was <laughs> delicious. <laughs> it, was, it was really funny. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's 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 skip a few. Wow. Wow. What sounds? What what is happening? Uh, yeah. Man. The doctor went to a bar without uh, letting Tony knowing about it. Uh, and he got uh, the few white people uh, got him and started to thrash him uh, because they were racist. And the bartender seems to witness everything politely. Uh, even after uh, Tony interfered, uh, until he said about the gun, uh, he was, he was, uh, how do you say that? An audience, he was like witnessing everything. Mm -hmm. Then he took, uh, took, uh, took his gun and said, nothing will happen in my bar. Um, whatever is happening, go outside. Mm -hmm. He threatened them all. He's also a selfish fellow. Yeah, so typical mm -hmm. red, typical rednecks. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, and opposite, right? Opposite to previous picture. <laughs> Rostik, what can you describe from here? I believe it's one of uh, the moments when uh 
I believe it's the first uh, concert. Probably, yeah. Uh, yes, and uh, uh, there are a lot of things I don't know because uh, I don't know. Uh, it's na- napkin, I believe. Yeah, napkin. Uh, yeah, white napkins made of like pyramids. Yep. On the yes, pyramids. and uh, I don't know the how the thing is called on the in the left uh, uh, top corner. Uh, just behind the woman, uh, that's uh, yeah, yeah, good question. Um, I don't drapes probably or something, but I understand it's like removable wall, mm-hmm. it's there and there, yeah, probably drapes, I would say. Yes, and uh, what else? Oh, I don't know how the uh, you can see next to the piano on the left. Uh, to the piano, I don't know how this uh, uh, how this music uh, yeah. I- instrument is called. Uh, mm, let me remember. Viv. What sounds, what I, sounds? Do you remember? Chimo. I know it in Russian, but uh, in English, yeah. I forgot the name also. But it's um, like Chemo or something. But I have to look into the dictionary. Yeah, something like this. Something. Okay. Um, okay. we speak, we are, we're speaking about this musical instrument, we, you know, with the, with the strings behind the guy in white uh, suit. Plus, oh, cello, I think cello. Cello, cello. yes, cello, okay. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Wow, finally, we found the word. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and he, he is wearing this uh, necktie, how we call it, special one. Mm, I don't know, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I, I forgot it all as well. Necktie, but in, in Russia we call it butterfly necktie. <laughs> but how it's in English, no idea. <laughs> Jorgen, do you know? Uh, I think necktie. Necktie, yeah, probably. Yes. Just it, yeah. So what else? Okay, let's let's go on. Okay, Jorgen, what is happening here? Ah, it's a nice moment. I I forgot to mention it. Yeah. Ah, okay. Uh, it's uh, they are in the men's clothing shop, uh, yep. and uh, Don wants uh, buy a suit, but uh, he was refused uh, to buy it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's interesting that they don't allow him to touch the suit. Right? They can sell it, but. <laughs> don't touch it and but tony he was like a tough guy and <laughs> the guy was scared and said we will just refine for your suit for your size so don't worry <laughs> don't, don't touch it it was a nice moment i believe yeah that's one uh yeah another one what sounds what is about yeah uh, the policeman saw uh, a white man mm-hmm. Is on the driver seat and the black <coughs> man uh, sitting on the back seat. So it's kind of weird for him. So he uh, followed them and asked a few questions. And he also made uh, the doctor step out of the car while it was raining. Um, so they didn't like it. and. Uh, I, I, I see that there is this kind of regulation or something uh, that cop mentions. He said that black people cannot be on the street after some hour, something like this. How we call this? Curfew. Exactly, exactly. Uh, yeah, there is a special word for this. Yeah, it's a. It sounds like really weird to me. <laughs> I would say, <laughs> but now in Russia we have the same thing. We uh, our children cannot be on the street after 11, I guess, without parents or something. So it's uh, kind of new to me to learn. Do you know, Ross? After 10. After 10. After 10. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I, know, I know it because... <laughs> uh, because you are not, not allowed yet here. Yeah? Uh, 
uh, now I'm allowed, but uh, when I was younger, it was uh, k- k- kind of hard for us when you when you notice a policeman, you uh, uh, well, uh, I'd better go uh, to the other Same, direction. Yeah. Yes, because, <laughs> because there is a chance that uh, I'll have a call to my parents. Wow. When I was young, it, it doesn't exist, you know, so I, I used to spend my nights on the streets, <laughs> which, which wasn't good, I would say. <laughs> okay, let's see what's happening on uh, family. Okay, what about this one? Uh, uh, Rostik, it's for you. Well, we can see this uh, instrument again. <laughs> <laughs> Cello. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, some drums. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, also, uh, 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 was um, on the drums. Uh, there is a um, iron, Fun. Fun, right? Iron, iron, iron thing. I don't know. Uh, it's a thing, thing. Um, you know, uh, like plates, you know, metal plates. Yes, like plates. Uh, I don't, I don't know, know oh, how, how. Oh, no idea. Basans, do you yes. know? This, we talking about this. There is a big drums, like, and small metal plates. You can see them, yeah? Okay, let me try to use pointer. There is a, some pointer. We, we are speaking yeah. about this one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow, something happened. Wow, wow, wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I don't know, just plates, mm-hmm. maybe. <laughs> Yeah. But do you remember what kind of mu- music he played on this scene? Uh, y- yes, he was uh, uh, he was playing the uh, music he always played, I believe, uh, or it was the classic uh, c- classic music or not? Uh, it was, you know, you know, it's happening in a black bar, like after yes, they yes. they left um, the concert. So I believe. Maybe I'm wrong, correct me. But uh, I remember that he started from classical music and mm-hmm. then started to play like, you know, this kind of black yes. music. Yeah. Am I right? Guys, do you remember? Mm, oh, yeah. Yeah, just, yes. <laughs> there are a lot of small and strange details, I would say, on this scene. All this, you know, what is the, <coughs> I can say, something with gold. <laughs> And this one, I believe it's a fir tree, you know, because it's Christmas uh, coming. What else? Mm, quarter, curtains, some strange table. Well, don't know. Okay, for this, for this exercise, you know, teacher is preferable to have. <laughs> <laughs> because yeah, it's very very hard to discuss things. That we we need a dictionary. Oh, need oh, okay. Let's make a special role for for a guy for the next time. Uh, the one with a dictionary, you know, to help us <laughs> with these things. <laughs> okay, so I think it was a, a nice class today, and <laughs> we managed to make it finally about for, after a long vacation. Everything <laughs> went wrong at the beginning, so it's nice. It's make us harder. It's my first, first pancake. Yeah, first pancake always broke me. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I believe next time it will be much better. So see you on next Sunday and thank you very much for coming. <laughs> thank, thank you. Bye-bye. Okay. Have a good evening. And I'm stopping recording here. <laughs> Bye-bye. I will learn how to upload it on YouTube because I don't know yet. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye. Bye.